Hi everyone, this is Anurag. Today, in this session, we are going to see about Unix pipes and filters. We know that to solve a particular task, we use a Unix command. Unix commands are so much powerful that you can perform any task by using Unix commands. But some commands are very complex, so, sorry, some tasks are very complex. By using single Unix command, we cannot solve the big task. So, we need to use something called as pipes. Why? To combine two or more Unix commands. Sorry, one minute. Two or more Unix Unix commands. Yeah. Unix commands. Okay, why we need to combine two or more Unix commands in order to par solve a particular task? For example, there is a file f1. I don't want to see the contents of file f1, but I want to see how many lines, how many words, how many characters are present in this file. How can I see characters are present in this file? So, we use the how to see contents of file by using cat space f1. It will show the contents of file. Here, I will use a pipe this is a pipe okay so one minute pipe and w wc okay wc this wc stands for word count okay the output of this command left side command is given as input to the right side command that is here, suppose thing that cat space f1 shows uh, hi, hello, good. Okay. If I use cat space f1 pipe wc, it shows 3, 3, 14. This 3 means number of words, number of characters, sorry, number of lines, number of characters okay this is what we call as a pipe this is a pipe okay to combine two or more unix commands we use pipe now let us see something called as filter what is a filter from the name only we can tell what is a filter what it will do filter means it filters the data and gives the output in a specified form specified uh, condition for example cat space f2 there is a file it is having some data okay if i give if i um, if i give command hit space hyphen phi f2 output will be 1 2 3 4 5 this phi is a condition we are giving hyphen phi means first five letters head means first five letters will be displayed first five okay if i give um, tail tail space hyphen phi f2 it will show a b c d e here you can give any number that depends on your wish okay these are filters what a filter is doing it is filtering the it is taking the input it is filtering the data according to some condition and giving the required output this is a filter now there are so many unix commands that we are going to see in our session now you are logged into root user now i want to create a file cat space greater than symbol f1 i want to add some data hi i am taking the same example hello good ok control c now see the contents cat space f1 it is showing this data cat space f1 word count it shows 3 3 14 i want to see separately what is a line how many lines are there characters are there first of all i will see number of words it will show three words are there later i will see number of lines three number of characters 14 if you count this will be 11 but that enter is also counted as character hence it becomes 14 okay similarly clear Similarly, there is a file called f2. See this, this is a file f2. Now, I want to see first, uh, first 5 letters. 
f f 2 it shows first 5 letters it shows last 5 letters ok head tail ok similarly there is one more file let us see that file also so there is a file f 3 to see contents of file i use cat so it is having some data now is this in correct order in alphabetical order no now if i give sort space f3 it shows in sorted order in alphabetical order a to z okay starting with a ends with z zahir okay now if i give sort space hyphen r f3 it shows in reverse of sorting order that means zahir con comes first then we write like this understood right this is about sorting oper uh, sorting okay to see in alphabetical order now this is the file i want to see second character itself so i use cut cut is used to extract the characters okay hyphen 2 okay just give 2 f 3 what it shows one minute it is showing second letter that is r a i a h r it is showing like this if i want to see first two letters we use the command like this it shows first two letters ok this is cut command we use cut command to extract certain set of characters ok next now let us see these two files cat space f1 cat space f2 this is having two there are two contents now there is a cat space f3 now what i will do means paste f1 space f3 what it shows hi hello good these two contents of two files are pasted attach it together ok this is how to combine contents of two files this is paste command now let us see some other commands we use the command host name to see the ip to see the name of the host machine to see the ip address of this machine we use the command hyphen i it shows the ip address of this machine you can use one more command called as if config config it shows the ip address ethernet address ok subnet mask everything it will show ok similarly we will see some other unix commands if i give the command x clock it shows the time ok analog format clock then if you give the command date it shows the date in date format it is showing that today is thursday december 4 and some time indian standard time it is showing if i want to see this month's calendar you cal it shows december 4th like this it shows the today's calendar i want to see calendar of 2003 see this shows the calendar of 2003 similarly if you want to see calendar of first year it shows the calendar first year and also you can see the calendar of 9999 ok can i give values less than 1 and greater than 9999 you cannot give this is the range ok this is used to see the date ok now i want to see all the background process ps space hyphen ef it shows all the background process running on our host machine in this background process i want to see a particular background process called smon how can i see ps space hyphen ef pipe symbol grep smon here ps space hyphen ef shows all the processes background process this is a pipe symbol the output of the left command is given as input to the right command this right command is having filter that is grep globally search for, globally search for regular expression and print all the lines so it will search it will take the input as this 200 or some other background process all the number of background process are there right all these background process are taken as input from this input it will filter a small background process and it will display there is only one a small background process running on our operating system ok this grep is a filter 
Okay. Now, I want to see the partitions in the disk space, uh, di hard disk. That means, this many partitions are there on the hard disk. For each partition, I have given some name. For each partition, some specified size is there. In that size, some space we have used. Some space is left vacant. Some space is, this is showing the percentage of used space. This is the system assigned name for the partition. This is the name assigned by us. Okay. This is showing in gigabytes. I want to see the size in megabytes. For that, we use the command hyphen m. Okay, mega MBs. I want to see in KBs. For that, we use the command DS space hyphen K. It shows in KBs. Understood, right? Now, I can use the command top to see resource utilization. That means, from how much time this system is up and running. From last 6 hours, system is up and running. Okay, this many users are logged in. This is the memory size 16. GB approximately okay this much is swap memory this much is used when this our ma main memory is filled with the data it is overloaded then swap acts as a placeholder okay normally this is used in performance tuning classes okay to come out of this queue okay then to see free spaces in memory we use free space hyphen g it shows how much free space is available in memory that is RAM and also in swap memory. Okay? And one more thing, I want to log in as I will open one more terminal. I want to log in as a normal user called Oracle. I have already created this user. Now, who am I shows as which user we have logged in. Who shows how many users are connected to this system. Okay? If I use the command DBCA, this DBCA is a tool. Okay. This is a graphical user interface tool. This is not getting executed. Why? Because by default for this normal users, Oracle is a normal user, right? For all the normal users, DBCA, that is a sorry, this G, GUI tools, graphical user interface tools are disabled for all the users. Okay. For all the users, graphical user interface tools are disabled. To make these tools enable for user, this GUI tools are disabled for normal users. We need to enable these uh, GUI tools for normal users. How? By disabling the access controls. To disable the access controls, we use the command exos plus. Access controls are disabled. Now see, uh, if we use the same command dbca, it will work now. This is a command to create database, right? GI tools are enabled for normal users by disabling the access controls. We can disable the access controls by using the tool exhaust plus. Okay. Now, one more thing. Let us see a one more uh, concept that is killing a process. See, I have connected to Oracle user, right? This ID, this is a process ID. I want to kill this process. How to kill a process? Hyphen 95250. That is IP, that is process ID. Now see this. Automatically, our, um, this, uh, what you say, this session is killed. Why? Because we have killed the process. Understood the concept? This is how to kill a process. Now, I am clearing the screen. I am in root user. These are the contents. I want to see this contents in tree format. I will give like this. I want to see the contents of book directory in tree format. Tree space book. It shows three files are there. Zero directories are there. Understood the concept? This is about our Unix pipes and filters. You can use some concept called as IOSTAT. One command called as IOSTAT. Input output statistics. Normally, this we will see in performance tuning and there is virtual machine statistics. This is also we will see in performance tuning. Okay. Next, there is some command called as SAR, system activity report. It shows all the activities about our system. That means, uh, what are the partitions, what is the bulk read, bulk write, uh, what is the ideal time. Okay. 99 percent it is ideal only 1.1 uh, percent is getting used. Okay, These are used to assess the 
system okay these are used to um, assess the system uh, resource utilization okay and here init 0 is used to shut down the system whereas init 6 is used to restart the system like this so many commands are there in unix operating system hope you enjoyed the session our session is completed thank you very much for watching